Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a spiritual journey um, reading to see what your energy is, was, and how you have overcome the past. And so it could be overcome or it could be you actually learning from the past. Um, please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, rare hearts if you made it through, purple hearts if it resonates, green hearts you're working on, it, yellow hearts you rock with me. Got my six, me to have my back because I have yours. No, it says deepening relationships to self, trauma and wounds, rediscovery and mental clarity that, oh, excuse me. I said clarity, clutter. Um, so it says learning your soul's language and what motivates you and brings joy in the art of self-love. And the trauma and wounds says deep familiar and past familiar. I don't know how to say that. And past life wounds are causing an impact in this life. Identify the repeat repetitive patterns to allow healing and releasing and then it says rediscover it says peel back the layers of the person or situation to discover what you may not have originally known and then mental clutter be careful of spending so excuse me too much time in your head space which leaves i can't read sideways which leaves little room for real clarity to present itself so that is mental clutter so teacher is here also you are rediscovering who you are and that's your relationship with self and also understanding the trauma wounds now this card deck is the foreign love oracle but it just gives you a situation or give you certain situations that you need to overcome look at all those cards that came out passion rediscovering your passion for life uh, we have distance so you've been distancing yourself we have transition transitioning into your higher self and that is you actually understanding that you have to build a bridge and get over it. My sister used to say that all the time, and I used to hate it because I never really understood what it meant. But sometimes building a bridge and getting over it um, causes a lot of discontent because when it comes to trauma and wounds and re rediscovering things and also um, deepening your relationship with yourself, there's going to be a lot of people that's going to fight you in regards to saying that you're wrong. There's going to be a lot of temptation, people trying to come back. There's going to be a lot of avoidance when it comes to how you deal with certain situations or how people that you want answers from, they avoid certain situations. And this could be in regards to twin flame energy, but it causes a lot of isolation, hermit mode, self-discovery, self-reflection, soul searching, and also, again, mental clarity, understanding your passion for life and being careful of the way that you spend time holding on to the past. And that's a part of deepening your relationship with self um yeah so um what was i gonna say sorry my i got my messages up you hear my little notification thing it's the little kid talking sounds like my my grandbaby so there you have it anyway so when it comes to dealing with certain situations you are the person that um have to learn how to transition and how to get through um this past energy and not being discontent not being you know, not fight yourself in regards to it because there's going to be people fighting you because you're doing things in a different light. Uh, you're doing things differently. And I watched a video a while ago and it says that um, people don't like when you start to change because now you change who you are to them or who you were to them and how you're available to them, which makes so much sense when it comes to you going into mental clarity. Uh, this or mental clutter and looking at everything from the past and why you decided to be the person you were to this other person or situation or even a job. You know, you gave your all, you did everything that you could, and there is you fighting a way to move forward. Um, this is the uh, archetype deck to see the type of energy. Magician, you're able to manifest certain situations, especially when it comes to, you know, dealing with some uh, traveling or moving forward, you know, manifesting, traveling, traveler. You could have been dealing with a lot of this energy uh, where you had to manifest and you know, move forward um, and could be traveler uh, type of energy. But uh, it also comes with, yeah, sabotage because you're sabotaging yourself. It has nothing to do with anyone else. It has to do with you learning. Now, look at all these cards that came out. Now, here's the thing, not saying it has nothing to do with you, the trauma and the wounds um, that you're sabotaging yourself respectfully. It's because the trauma and the wounds keep happening, keeps replaying itself over and over again, wounded again. It keeps replaying the same situation over and over again, maybe with a different person. But it also comes with, you know, learning the type of friends that you need in your life. Also, fire energy. You know, the fire energy 
is wands energy aries leo sagittarius energy so you could be dealing with the fire sign or have fire energy in your chart but wands energy um just kind of lets you know that it's time for you to be creative it's time for you to do things over a different way mystic the mis uh, mystique sorry you're mysterious to a lot of people so when it comes to you being able to manifest the magician energy right and rediscovering yourself your power of you being an empath you start to really see your new your life light and also be able to um change the, your thinking patterns and how you do things but yeah you're able to create so manifesting and creating the things that you want right when it comes to rediscovering and lover energy could be carded gemini but it could be doing what makes your heart happy and this is you learning to release it says identify re re repetitive patterns remember ground and around and allow time for healing and releasing so that's where you rediscovering all of these different energies and again understanding your higher self yeah as your imp as an empath um i was watching something today um when it talked about um how empaths get the um you have to learn how to become not become or not be an empath or i forget exactly how it says because basically what happens is that yeah your gypsy soul the the wonder bug and you um all of those type of energies you get to deal with a lot of people's scars the trauma and wounds of the people's energy and uh, what happens is that you have to rediscover how to control that energy and get out of people's mental clutter their head space because you can see their pain and the scars that they have the scars that they have give them wisdom and it gives them strength to be able to hurt people and to wound others instead of them healing from it and you try to get them to do what makes their heart happy lovers energy um also uh love them a different light or love them in a different light so that um they can be able to trust in the universe again and so that's your passion but that also comes with a lot of mental clutter because it gets your feelings hurt your gypsy flutterness and being able to love and to go from city to city or to recreate in any situation or be creative in any situation or to be able to um pick up your pieces you know that's what that reminds me of the gypsy energy if you remember what gypsies are in movies um and i always call myself a gypsy uh when it comes to how i can pick up the pieces but also gypsies are ones that they live in the tiny homes they travel around the world that makes them being able to see the world makes them feel lively makes them um be able to and even though they may not have what it is they are able to create things to be able to su survive and wherever they go and that is who you are people aren't that way so you're the traveler the magician manifesting but also in the same point uh sabotaging yourself and so um it's about you healing and this is the heart's hidden secrets it's about you healing and understanding why you know um this card tried to come out understanding why you know you learn the way you do yeah shallow you deal with a lot of empty people that are shallow and it causes boredom uh in your your energy but it also causes them to be bored and move differently and the way that they love they have multiple lovers and you can you know you can be that way you've probably done that tried it or whatever but you see the truth their intentions and the honesty within themselves and that causes you to sabotage yourself so the clarity that you have in regards to why they're so empty and hollow and shallow and why they get bored easily is because you have the divine feminine energy the yin energy the nurturing energy to be able to um look and see through um and and be and feel their their um um feel their their um neck the negativity that they're going through the trauma and everything and so you have to learn how to yeah yeah you have to learn how to be able to um uh how do you say to know that that energy is there but how to not let that hold you down because that trauma and wound could cause a wound and trauma in your life and their memories of why they are so withdrawn and why they do the things that the way that they do um causes you to have to and causes them to keep reminiscing on the past and keep dwelling on the past and keep running from the past and it causes their, their them to be hollow and you know that that's why they feel like they always have to be single they always have to be alone they always have to be um and solitaire energy and that's sabotaging of itself but then you become that 
and you reflect that type of energy for them. Yeah, running energy. So that's the reason why they are ghosting, disappearing, and invisible to the naked eye, or they uh, don't want to be seen um, or to be loved, you know. And so that's where you have to know that your caring nature can only go so far with this person. I mean, you can give everybody the key, but you can't make them open the door. And so that is when you have to find your own puzzle pieces. And that's what my tattoo kind of is to me. It's like um, you keep going around. Well, this is my dad heartbeat, but you keep going. Your heart keeps going round and around, and it's an infinity symbol. And then will you ever find the puzzle piece, or is there ever a puzzle piece to complete the puzzle? And that's where you have to get to the point to realize that, hey, maybe that's not going to be the point. But it's not about material and spiritual prosperity. It's about you understanding that you can be victorious no matter what the situation is. You can keep giving and receiving, but also being generous uh, at that same time. But this is also understanding that there's going to be success and there's going to be public recognition once you get to the point of you realizing that you are a true healer. You are somebody who um, has to be able to see everything and choose, yep, choose wisely when it comes to how you give your energy. Um, and that's seven of cups energy you know you have to be able to understand that yeah building a foundation for yourself um has a lot to do with how you do things and this is you um respecting yourself and being able to create and being able to have a home and be able to be in the community and help the community but not let the community hinder you or not let the people around you so you have to choose wisely the people that you help and the people that you give to and that's where the material prosperity comes in at also trapped in fear yeah um this is the eight of swords energy trapped in fear yes you can be trapped and you could be dealing with people that are trapped in fear but also spiritual strength um you being able to understand that when you are in hermit mode you're soul searching you're meditating you know but at the same time you're also um growing from being in hermit mode you know and so it also comes with victory and success success six of one energy and having the wisdom to know and this is the five of uh, uh excuse me the five of wands i'm trying to say this is the six of wands this is the hi hierophant energy you understanding unlearning to relearn you know changing the way you do things and understanding the difference of foundation and your achievements and also being trapped in your head so that is a lot why you have to rediscover where you are when it comes to certain situations you guys i've been watching yellowstone 1883 and now i'm on 1923 and it's so good but anyway that is why you have to rediscover yourself and understand that deepening your relationship to self and also understanding the trauma and the wounds that you run across um, always comes with somebody else's issues that you create one of your own because you become t entangled in their trauma and trying to fix and help them. And that's where you, you start to sabotage yourself until you rediscover you know the mental clarity that's in your head because you're not going to be able to help everyone and you're not you know your passions are helping but you also have to choose wisely of how long you help because this scarred sage energy is knowledge of people's traumas and wounds right it's 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 like a deep familiar of the past so this person always holds their swords up because and has the scars on their face because a deep familiar and past uh life wounds are causing an impact in this life identify re repetitive patterns to allow healing and releasing this person is afraid to do that so you have to choose wisely on how much you put into helping them even though i know you know that this is something that you want to do and it's something that you can be successful doing you just have to be able to sorry um you just have to be there we go i had to fix my microphone you just have to be able to understand that these are things that you have to know when to hold them and when to fold them and go from there. I'm going to pull from the True Emotions deck to see the other energies that you've been emotional, True Emotional deck, to see the other energies that you've been dealing with. But, yeah, you had to get rid of the mental clutter in your head in order to move forward and to understand that you're going to be pr prosperous no matter what. But you have to know, yeah, yeah, this could be childhood energies, uh, childhood wounds, child trauma and wounds from childhood or child a love child or divine masculine this is just to me this is a feminine energy which is up above and also dealing with the masculine somebody with heavy masculine energy that has not healed from the past and you know once this person learns to heal 
until this person learns to heal, you're going to go around and around and around. Again, like I said, and it's going to be cycles, triggers, and lessons until you learn to rediscover your inner truth. And so that is how I see this energy, if that makes sense. Um, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and pull from my deck that I created a long time ago um, when I feel some type of way and things stop me. Yeah, I have to encourage myself. And your spirit guides are constantly encouraging you to... Um, make decisions when it comes to how you build foundations and what you look for when you're building foundations so the encouragement comes they are protecting you and also understanding your insecurities but it comes with them guiding you so your mental clutter and the rediscovery is you um what these cards say is your spiritual journey is your spiritual journey and that is them helping you build a foundation when it comes to mental clarity and, and mental clutter and this card shows his face so yeah and betrayal so you have to understand that your your spirit guides are guiding you um in regards to really rediscovering your passions and that is that and that comes from you taking and understanding that you are trapped in your fears and because you're dealing with somebody who's you're reflecting their trauma on you and afraid to move forward because you're afraid to let go of what they have going on and that's where you're trapped in your fears that um, by not being able to build and you keep going around and around and around and it'll be a never ending cycle until you realize that, you know, you have to deepen your relationship with self. So let's pull from the crystal deck and then let's pull from the four agreements and then we're going to let this energy go. So be impeccable with your words. If you want to know my perspective of the four agreements, I put the links up above. Manifest your true intentions. It says, regardless of what language you speak, your intent will manifest through the word. What you dream, what you feel, and what you really are will all be manifested through word. And that's what you have to understand. That is when you learn to rediscover your um, true inner self and also deepen your relationship with self and know that you can't be trapped in fear and trauma. You have to be able to manifest the things and be impeccable, say what it is that you want out of the situation and this deals with your heart chakra and your crown chakra which is the morganite i have the morganite right here which is the morganite um, crystal um which it says compassion divine love and joy it says i'm surrounded by angelic energy and divine love and that is your spirit guides are helping you and encouraging you to be great but you have to understand that they're here but you can't take on everybody's trauma and that is kind of how i see that energy um, you guys, do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, me have my back because I have yours. You guys, let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, Addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or situation. I love you guys.